Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we are going to create a survey using Google Forms. So I logged into my Google Forms and instead of starting from a blank form, I went to templates and I selected the customer feedback, which was the closest to what I was, I was looking for. Uh, from there, I can, you know, give it a title. So in this example, customer feedback survey, and then maybe I want to add more description. So the person filling out the survey or questionnaire just kind of understands what they're filling out. Uh, one type of question that I like is a checkbox. So if you want to understand how the client is interacting with your service in this example, you know, what are the services you're using? Gym, tennis courts, sauna, uh, pool, and you can add multiple or even an other box. You can make questions required or not as well. Uh, one thing I like that they just added is the rating questions. So if I go into my new questions, I click on rating and then I can ask and like, um, how would you rate your overall experience in this example? And then you can make it from one to 10 again, required or not. Other types of questions that I like are the multi-choice grid, because this is going to give me a bit of a, uh, a satisfaction level on different aspects of my service, right? So in this example, we have the facilities, maybe the friendliness of staff, and then we can, on the other side, the columns are going to dictate kind of the, the answer for each row, right? So if I go back and I see this, people are going to be able to say, you know, the facilities are excellent, but let's say the friendliness of staff is not that good, right? So that they'll be able to answer those questions based on rows and columns. I always like to add a open-ended question. So I selected the paragraph here just so people can give you, you know, real kind of open-ended answers there. And if you want to add, if you want to know who filled out the survey, you just simply add the name and email address. Once that's done, all you got to do is click on the publish button here. Uh, and then let's go fill it out. So if I take this link here, uh, this is the experience a client would go through. So they would go in and be like, okay, I want the gym and ten I, I use gym and tennis courts. I'm a really satisfied client. Uh, I'm going to answer these here and, you know, great job. Yay. And I'll put my work address in here. So once that's done, people simply click on submit. And there we go. We just got our survey. Now, if you go back here, you will see that you have a response now. And the cool part is it's going to give you all this data here that you can analyze afterwards. So not only have one answer, but it's going to give you a nice analytics on, you know, how you're doing, uh, how's your, how is your staff doing? How's your service doing? Um, so that, that how, that's how you'll be able to do it. If you want to analyze the data a bit more, if you have more response, you can link to Google sheets and then you'll have all the data I'll kind of show you here. It's going to open up a, uh, sheets. Google Sheets, and then you'll be able to filter. So maybe you want to follow up on people who had a really good experience. Well, then you'll be able to go into this column and say, I want to filter by column and then select the answers, right? And you can select, you know, nine, 10, and then send them an email and say, Hey, you know, here's a link to uh, give us some, uh, a review online. Uh, last thing I want to look at, you can go by question or even by individual person. Uh, and then your settings, right? There might be some things where you want to make, uh, different changes. So, uh, for example, here, do you want to collect an email address? Are uh, responses allowed to be edited, right? In this example, probably not a survey. You might want to list it, limit to one response so that people don't overdo it and you get real good data. Uh, and even if you have a very long survey, you might say, let's show a progress bar. Let, let's not, you know, uh, make them too, um, too afraid of the length of the survey. And the last thing I would think is a confirmation email. Uh, the message is really important. You might want to put a link in there and just say, hey, you know, thanks for giving us a survey. Here's a link to ask for feedback online or to contact us if you want to, uh, you know, talk to someone about about the uh, your experience. So I hope this was useful. Uh, this is really a simple how to create a survey using Google Forms.